this ride in California Adventure. <laughs> Guy. That's not part of the plan. Of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, one of the guardians of the galaxy. We're in Mad Hatter. Actually, never really come into this store. Hannah might get something embroidered, so we're looking around. We're doing something like purely for the gram right now. We're getting rose gold <laughs> <laughs> it does smell good. It smells like a hot strawberry cake, really. We'll let you know how it is. <laughs> do you like it? I do like it. Okay. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds it... me of those like lifesaver candies, but like a pineapple like oh. life like lifesaver. You know? I thought you were gonna say that it reminds you of that shop in like what's it on King Street, <laughs> like with the cotton candy around it. No, no, no. no. Okay. It's actually like, it reminds me, if it were, if I were to like, put this in another form, it would be a pineapple high chew. Oh. You know? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Connor's first shot at Dolan. Just wrapped up a tour at Cal Arts. Just looking at some grad schools for different, you know, different grad schools. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat lunch now. Good dog, Yogi. Good dog. Everybody, meet Yogi. He's up. We're adoption. <laughs> Doesn't even know the phone is in, is like right next to him. I mean, you can just order. Yeah. And the yeah, temper is also thicker. Yeah, every time I've gotten it, it's like... It stops putting the plates inside the disposal because of the animation. We <laughs> sell everybody. We got a prize. We should be getting a prize. Hypothetically. <laughs> Like Did it get stuck? I don't think it's giving a surprise. And Bob, it's, it's a panda. It's a panda. It's a panda. It's a What's it do? It's not, it's it does nothing. Oh, it does you have to take out the thing, right? Aww. It's a it's Christmas a ring. <laughs> hey guys, so today is the last day of my friend Myra's shoot, and I'm struggling to like hold this thing because I'm bringing. <laughs> This guy! They're gonna freak because, like, I'm bringing him because, like, one of our actresses who shall not be named yet, she was hugging a stuffed animal yesterday and she really liked it. And I was like, I'll bring my stitch tomorrow. Is it the big one from Disneyland? I was like, yes. <laughs> this is insane. 
saying? Oh my god, and I'm late. Okay, here we go. This is what I found a quick update before I head to Playlist Live today. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've never been to a Playlist Live before, but I worked a lot and I saved up to go to this one. So, here we go. Food-wise this month, I've been liking a lot of snacks this month. Um, Tim Tams. Tim Tams, I like them a lot. Uh, especially the ones that Kana gave me. So, I've been having the chocolate coconut ones and the um, Turkish Delight ones, basically. The chocolate cherry coconut ones are like dark chocolate and robing a uh, like a fruity flavor, which is super nice. The Turkish Delight one, the Turkish Delight one, I don't know, it's just cool because it has like a chewy middle and it's like wrapped in milk chocolate. I've never had Turkish Delight and chocolate before and the outside of it is crispy, but like the middle of it is chewy and it's interesting, I like it. If you don't like the taste of rose, then you won't like it. But for me, if you like Turkish Delight, then you'll like it, duh. I've also had Trader Joe's olive oil popcorn um, sprinkled with, I got, I wanted to try the salad topper thing that they had because like it, it looked interesting and it said that you could use it to top you could like you could have it as a snack by itself. But I had that, and it was too much for me. Uh, it was literally too spicy. Three out of the four times I have like quote unquote spicy stuff, I'll be able to take it. One in the four times I won't be. I've used it as sort of like seasoning on top of the olive oil popcorn that Trader Joe's has, and it's pretty good. Um, I kind of really miss my everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. I thought I had some, but I didn't, uh, and I just went to Trader Joe's. A few days ago and I did pick it up because I thought I had some but that stuff I think on top of popcorn on top of plain popcorn would be super good I've had a few favorite songs this month I can only recollect these past few because they've just been playing over and over in my car the first one is Daydream by Tori Kelly I saw a BTS interview where Jungkook was singing Paper Hearts by Tori Kelly and I looked into that and that was on the same album as this this one naturally played after Paper Hearts and I was just like is this my life Too. 2002 by Anne Marie. I know Ed Sheeran wrote on that track, but it's just it's catchy. You can totally tell he wrote it, like on it. And then Babe by Sugarland, um, which was the track that Taylor Swift wrote on, like for Red for a couple of albums ago, but she showed it to them instead. And it's their track now. And clothing wise, I have these things. They're just not here with me right now because I'm not near my room. So um, I have a bell dress that I really like and it'll be shown here. There's also another dress that I really like, but I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm wearing that to a show. So, yeah, you'll see it when you see it. <laughs> News wise, so the trailer for Crazy Rich Asians came out, um, and this is not a bad thing. This is not a bad thing. I'm very, very excited that like Asian Americans are having like their own film that is a Hollywood film, and like they're telling their own stories through that. Um, I guess people, some people are just like, oh, I don't get why some people are so excited for this movie, but like, you know, remember when Coco came out? I'm not sure about you guys, but I definitely had some Mexican friends that were super excited when Coco came out. There was like, okay, everyone was like excited when Coco came out, but my Mexican friends were just like, oh my gosh, like after they saw it, they were like ecstatic, like beyond, and they like are huge fans of that movie because... They connect with it culturally, like they connect with like the little details that maybe other people can't connect to. And it's just really, it's just really refreshing to see your culture, I guess, being portrayed on a huge platform that in a way that is relatable to everybody. But I watched the trailer and I was just like, I really wanted to hear like an authentic, solid Singaporean English accent because as someone that is coming from Malaysia and growing up in America, like it's the the accents, how how they speak English is just like 
super characteristic to Singapore and Singaporeans and, and Malaysia and Malaysians. This one I think it's important if all of the Singaporean characters are played by Singaporeans, so not Malaysians, and have the authentic like Singlish or Singaporean accent on their English. It's a it's a thing that when I go back to Malaysia, because it's, it's sort of it sort of sounds the same. It's not the same, but it sort of sounds the same. Um, and the thing about it is that even on radio like airways, airways, even on radio channels, like in the car and stuff like that, people, Malaysians will do the American accent. I don't know why. Actually, I know why. Because I think they think it sounds more proper, more cool, more professional to have an American accent instead to talk like this law on the internet uh, on the radio. But it's not how we, it's not how they talk to each other. Like how they talk casually is, important in this movie is important to be portrayed in this movie um I, you know a lot of channels that or videos that are that have like the singaporean or english the singaporean or malaysian accent on the english have subtitles even though it's it's english but they just have subtitles because they think their accent is just under like no one gets it but It's part of who they are. Michelle Yaw had some of that accent, a little bit of it in her character I saw in um, in the trailer. Michelle, Michelle Yaw is Malaysian, by the way. It's heavily British, um, but I feel like a lot of my, a lot of people that I know that are from her generation that are in Singapore and Malaysia, um, and if they were, especially if they were educated, um, in a very popular way in Malaysia um, were like they, they're gonna have a pretty heavy British accent however as a Malaysian that grew up in America if the Singaporean characters are played by Singaporean people and have Singaporean accents or use Singlish in their English then this Hollywood film would be able to touch me in a way that no other Hollywood film would ever have been able to. And yeah, that's what's going on in my life right now. Um, well actually what's going on in my life right now is that um, I am, for a while I was struggling to choose between travel and work at the end of my lease in July here, but I think I want to focus on my career because I called Cindy yesterday because I've had these offers which are amazing to travel at the end of, at, in July. She was like, well, you're always gonna be thinking about your job and you won't be enjoying yourself. And I was just like, that's very true. So that, I'll see you guys later.